Hi everyone, it's the English Simmer here, and as we all know by now, farming is coming to The Sims 4. At least a slice of farming is coming to The Sims 4 with cottage living. I, for one, am extremely excited about it because it's just, it's just up my alley, isn't it? If I could have the perfect pack, I feel like it would be this. However, I have yet to play it. It's not out until I'm fairly sure it's the 22nd of July, question mark. But I decided why not embarrass myself and go back and watch some of my older videos. I've done this for packs like Discover University, when University got announced for The Sims 4, I went back and watched my Sims 3 University LP, which I will say, these ones aren't quite as far back. There's also some from like this year, which I doubt are gonna like make me cringe. It's more of like, I wanna remind myself of like what farming was like in The Sims 3. We never got an official like farming pack. However, we did get a couple of sets on the Sims 3 store that helped us to replicate farming. We also had pets, so I'm gonna be going over my pets, let's play. You lot seem to love these videos and just absolutely putting me through it whilst I watch my old tacky cheesy content. And that's exactly why I've signed myself for, for to do without anyone even requesting it this time around. I clearly just love hurting myself. Which is, funnily enough, what the doctors actually thought whenever I broke my wrist as a child. So that that's fun. Little, little story there. So this was, I miss farming in The Sims, so I'm playing Sims 3 again. This was just like a one-off video that I recorded back in February of this year. So I don't sound all that different. I'm not really gonna listen to this one because I very much remember what I sounded like. It's exactly how I sound today, but I will change the speed. We have Lil, 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 Lil Farmer, Lil Farmsy over here. I said this kid looked like Kayla. And then I went out and spent six pounds on the Sims 3 store to get Grandpa's Grove, the tractor, basically, from the Grandpa's Grove set. I know we aren't getting tractors in this pack. I kind of wish we were, I'm not gonna lie. But considering we don't have cars in The Sims 4, I highly doubted that we were ever gonna get tractors before cars, even though we did get boats before cars. And then also on The Sims 3 store, we had the chicken coop and we had the cow house. <laughs> I guess you could call it. They genuinely don't look like they can roam as much as the ones in The Sims 4 can. You can actually like choose how many hens you have in The Sims 4. SimGuru Romeo said you can have up to eight hens in a household. But with that, you could basically just chat to the chickens. You could see if they had laid any eggs. You could also fight Charles the Evil Chicken. This was so cool though, like this tractor. So you could take your kids for a hayride and then you could also fertilize crops and water them. I mean, to be fair, we, I think we're only getting one 64 by 64 lot. I think Simguru Romeo has actually said that in his tweets, like in his answers that he's been telling people. So like, I'm not surprised that this doesn't exist. Also, we are getting what, three, four animals technically. I don't know why my screen's going black. I think it's just loading, but we're getting like four animals and animals do take like animation. And to be fair, like in The Sims 3, the chickens and the cows really were only for store content. So you didn't actually get them in a pack. So this is kind of just like rounded up The Sims 4 one. It's just rounded up what I really love. But yeah, let's take a look at the interactions. Give Hayride 2, test for valid track, water crops, harvest crops, fertilize crops. I mean, I will say say The Sims 4 like makes gardening pretty easy and I do feel as if 
the farming is just going to work the same way that gardening does. I think you'll be able to like use like the hoover machine to weed if you get your gardening skill up high enough. I don't think we'll get a farming skill. We are getting one skill in the new pack that has been confirmed by Romeo, but I don't think it's going to be farming. I think that will genuinely just go off gardening. So I'm a little bit sad that we don't have a tractor, but like I wasn't expecting it to have a tractor. We can play with chicks, which we know we can do in The Sims 4, I hope at least, because in the trailer there was a toddler who was like holding a little chick in his hands. You can harvest the eggs, ask is it better to have loved than to have never <laughs> loved at all. I just love how philosophical the chickens were in The Sims 3. You obviously had the option to feed them and argue with Charles the evil chicken. I have my fingers crossed that Charles the evil chicken returns. And then with the cows, I talked about this in my wish list video for farming, but I really hope that cow tipping isn't in cottage living because I feel dead mean. But you can have like chocolate milk if you feed your cow chocolate. And hopefully we still, we do have all the flavors. You can also play tic-tac-toe with cows, which I kind of hope we can do in The Sims 4 just because I think it's so cute. Although he's doing it literally with a, what's it called? Like when you, oh my God, why can I not think of the name? I say it in this video, I'm fairly sure. A brand. Gwendolyn, are you using a brander? Yeah, <laughs> I, I was like, are you using a brander? I just hate how mean they were to the cows in The Sims 3. Obviously we did have horses, but unfortunately we aren't getting horses in the pack. I don't know if that's an unfortunate for me. I quite like that we're getting llamas and that like their wool will help with knitting and stuff. I think that's very cute. I'm glad that llamas are finally being an actual animal and not just like a mythical beast in The Sims 4. Again in February of this year, February is apparently the time where I just really start caring about farming. Panda Summer and a couple of other Simmers actually made a mod for The Sims 4 where you could own cows. So I kind of just want to remind myself of this. I haven't actually had it in my game because I haven't really played a family that like have a farm but I definitely would have like kept this in my game if I had that sort of family running and basically you just sort of placed these items which were little signs for the cows and then you could buy the cow in the game there was also hay that you could place down and they weren't free roaming at all but they could like wander around a little bit like the tiles that was set on the item is where your cows could actually roam and they could like lie down and stuff. And if you had hay, they could also eat the hay. I have to say like pretty similar to the cows that we've seen in the trailer for cottage living. Like I feel as if this mod got the style of The Sims 4 so, so spot on. Like, it's a little bit ridiculous how official this mod looks. Like, honestly, the talent of these creators really, really just jumps out. And then you obviously got like buffs for your cows. You could milk them. You could also send them away. <laughs> which basically was harvesting them. I fell in love with this one who had a little love heart on his head and then was just like, no, you know what? I'm, I'm gonna send him away. He's, he's gonna disappear. Poor Amber. Look, you can enable meat collecting, which I don't think is officially gonna be in cottage living. I don't think you can get send cow to the shop. In return for recipes or for selling. I'm sorry, Amber. I love you. <laughs> Just the cut that I did as well. Oh my goodness, I was so harsh. I literally fell in love with Amber and then was like, uh, but really, I'm just joking. You're going to the shop and we're gonna get some meat off you. I'm fairly sure you can't do that in Cottage Living from what I've read from Romeo. And also, like, if you want meat, you have to order it from the shop 
in the expansion. And that makes me think that you can't kill off your cows. Cows in The Sims 4, I'm fairly sure, are only gonna be used for milk. This is where it starts to get really Hi, embarrassing though. It's the English Simmer here and welcome to probably one of the most- First off, can we just mention my face cam? Like, I know I'm not that much bigger nowadays, but I was, this was back when I was using, uh, I think like the NVIDIA recording software. I recorded this in 2017, around the same time. These yeah, were my this Sims. Is pretty much vanilla Sims 3 at its finest. So this is Reed Harkin. Yeah, I think all I had downloaded for this was actually the skin because I have a really hard time Be even aware. Still running The Sims 3 with like loads of custom content. I did end up having to cancel this after 27 parts though because the save file just got too yeah, bloated and it was He's lagging so much. Through and through. He loves the outdoors and things I like love that. this so like sim said, though. This oh, the hair. Really Although I do, I do love the jumper. Keep in mind, this is like pets. This wasn't just like uh, farming, but so I guess it's the most like farming place, however, that we had in The like Sims said, no 3. But yeah, that hair Please is awful. Like I know, I know it's country and stuff, but that hair literally looks that. like straw. That's Why did I also true. choose that color for Penny? <gasps> I'm not gonna lie though, the dogs were well cute in The Sims 3. I feel like Alpha works really, re really well with animals for some reason. I have to say, I still don't miss horses all that much. This was the lot though, and oh my god, the lot was huge. It's sort of the same one that I um, used in the farming video. I actually didn't realize that this was the starting lot that I had chose. Also, I don't sound that bad in this. I have to throw it out there. I genuinely think I was gonna be more embarrassed, but my voice isn't that annoying. But I'm sure if I listen to like what I was saying, I would cringe. In my Discover University one, I hated everything that came out of my mouth. I don't know why I didn't, like, I know I still don't edit a lot in my videos in comparison to a lot of people on YouTube. However, like, I wouldn't keep this stuff in nowadays. Like, I feel like even in 2017, it was such like an old school way of editing. Why do I have a face cam? Like, you can't even see it for one. And it's also not synced up or anything. It's awful. My microphone is like covering half the screen. I think I was having issues though in The Sims 3 where it would like, um, it would mess with my face cam and like pause it a lot. <gasps> the little parrot! I miss having birds in The Sims 4. Chanel! <laughs> I just want parrots so I could call one Chanel, what the hell. To be fair, like, if we had horses in The Sims 4, I guess they would just, like, follow the same roads as, like, Sims who jog. Like, you could only do it in small neighbourhoods. Although I did say someone suggests that you could definitely, like, take hiking from Snowy Escape and turn that into, like, a horse run if we ever do get, like, an equestrian pack of some sort. I want to know what you think. Would you want like a horse pack by itself? Like a horse, like equestrian game pack? Or, because personally for me, I really, like that's not a theme that I would be like excited by or anything. Like it would just be one that was in my game. Um, I th could see it having like a good like playability factor with country living, but it wouldn't be cottage living. I'm gonna say that so much, but yeah, it just wouldn't be an interesting theme to me, I don't think, but I would like to hear what everyone else thinks about it. Oh God, why do I um and pause so much? This is why I don't wanna listen to myself. Like, I hate it. Why didn't I just edit that stuff out of my videos back in the day? Why did I think that everything had to stay in? Oh my goodness. I named the horse Jasper. I used to have a dapple grey. Well, I didn't have, I'm not a Tory. And also horses are so expensive in the UK. I used to ride. I did used to go horse riding every Saturday. 
And I used to ride a horse called Jasper, who was a dapple gray horse, which is probably why I created a dapple gray horse in this LP. But I didn't listen to it because I didn't want to hear myself. I did like the horse racing though. I don't agree with horse racing as a practice in real life. I absolutely hate it. Um, I don't think that horses should be used for that form of entertainment because it's so harsh on the horses, the conditions that they're under. I do miss it in The Sims because I had a lot of fun with this. Come on, we can win this. I like how I'm trying to make the commentary interesting. Literally not doing anything. In a rabbit hole, trying to talk and make this like entertaining for people to watch when I could have just edited it out and gone to like the last part. <gasps> we were in first place. See, this is the exciting part. Let's stay in first place. Absolutely. Come on, smashing it, Jasper. Let's go. 600 simoleons. I wasn't even excited. I still do that to this day, you know? I don't know if anyone else does this when they're playing video games, but like if you feel like you can't see something properly, you like move your whole ass head. Like I do it when I'm playing story driven, like first person games. If I'm like looking around the corner, I will have my like head actually move. Does anyone else do that? Or is that just like a me thing? Yeah. Whoa! This is what my lot grew into? This cannot be we the same lot. <gasps> we have cows over here. We have like a full like racing section. We have Brandy, jumping I over. Did Where did I get the money the, from? Uh, like this is only there. part 20. I did I mother load or like what happened here? We also got another horse. This might even be a unicorn. And we got a cat as well. We basically just adopted strays. Um, for my pets let's play so oh my god I thought I was gonna say how much it cost I was like four four and then I just went my pets let's play okay. yeah obviously you bought you it do through do your animals. pets I mean, let's play like that's what you're playing really. oh no this is the cow tipping oh, oh, it's so awful oh, why he's like laughing at it yeah he that's just laughs in his face that's so gosh. mean why was that interaction that's given that. also there's Rug is horrific. I don't think that's custom content either. I legit think that's in the game. That's not even like a screenshot of The Sims 3. That looks so realistic. Like, did they just take a photo of horses and like that's put so it bad. as a rug so in The Sims 3? That's hilarious. <gasps> A unicorn! I will say what I miss about having horses in The Sims 3 is the fact that we got unicorns. I think unicorns were so cool. The fact that there was like this mythical beast living in the mountains of Appaloosa Plains that you could like find on a specific night was incredible. And they were so hard to actually build up a friendship with. Like it was so difficult to actually adopt a unicorn, but they looked so magical. Like, look at the like dust that's floating around around them. It's incredible. You have proven to be a friend to all creatures. Oh, sorry, I'll let you read. We adopt, did we adopt? We have trooper horse. Trooper! Oh my goodness. Why did I name this part cow tipping? When we literally got a damn unicorn. This was clearly before how I understood how YouTube titles work. Like, get that unicorn clickbait over freaking cows. Like anyone can buy cows, anyone could adopt unicorns, but you, you get my drift. Like, <gasps> unicorns can set stuff on fire. The only thing I miss about horses, Sims team, let it be known, I would like to see unicorns. I will, uh, I don't know if I'll excuse an equestrian pack just so that we can get unicorns, but I do miss them. But unfortunately, unicorns won't be coming to cottage living and neither will horses. Romeo actually discussed why horses won't be coming. They basically said that they could probably do them in more depth in another pack, which I guess is like, I mean, like, what's the likelihood that we get, like, a fairy game pack and then, like, maybe a unicorn? 
book ones as well. I highly doubt it. I feel like they would definitely be split, which is unfortunate because if there's one thing that The Sims 4 needs, it needs to expand their packs a little bit when it comes to themes. I genuinely thought that was going to be more embarrassing, although like watching the editing, like the amount of pauses and like gulping and like, oh, I hate it. That's what I hate about watching my old videos. Cause I know now, like if I was editing in this day and age, I would like be like, right, get rid of it. Like, cut it down. So that still annoys me when I go back and watch old videos. But thank you all so much for tuning in. I hope this video was enjoyable, even though I did not cringe as much as I thought I would. I appreciate you all so, so much. Remember we are on that road to 300,000 subscribers. I will also be doing a Let's Play on Cottage Living when it comes out, which I'm so excited about. I cannot wait to get my hands on it. Thank you all so much for the love and support and I will speak to you all in my next one. Bye now.